our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Herb Great Dean, fight. our referee for Great. this one. Good. While Tommy Aspinall's fans travel well as we get to some early action here, a lot of people believe that this is the future of the heavyweight division, arguably the best submission artist in this division at present, and he believes he's gonna be able to get this fight to the floor rather easily here tonight. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Pavlovich. Loaded up on that one and landed. Push kick there to the body. Oh, and he covered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Let's go. Offense is on the menu tonight. Back and forth we go. That D, that D hurt him. Single collar tie now. Just out of range with that right hand. Beautiful body kicks. Big right hand there. Aspinall's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, it's tight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, he got out. Unbelievable that he was able to survive that triangle attempt. He took slight movements, got off to the right side, got his arm free, and found safety. That was tremendous defense. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big hit strike. Nicely done there by Aspen. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. To throw damaging strikes, he's doing a fantastic job. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Pavlovich getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. He's gotta be careful here. Pavlovich gets tattooed by that elbow. These are raining down now on the ground. Constantly a moving target. Pavlovich getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Aspinall's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. Oh, he might be out.
back to the corner now after that round. Aspinall's bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. Ooh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just missed on the overhand left, good head movement there. Went for the inside leg kick. And he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Aspen. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John. But it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Single. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ just watch how slowly he approaches the submission though he never rushes he takes his time but it's his trickiness it's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights here's bruce buffer he has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.